what's up guys and welcome to Predications Tech Tips and in today's tech tip we're looking at how to back up your iPhone now iPhones and smartphones in general carry a lot of our personal information they carry our photos our text messages our reminders notes all that stuff and losing your iPhone could mean losing all that information together with that very expensive handset unless of course you have a backup so here are three ways three different ways to back up your iPhone number one is iCloud and iCloud hands down is the best way to back up your iPhone it's an Apple cloud service it works the Apple way and it, of course it comes with all the benefits and all the parts of being in the Apple ecosystem iCloud will literally back up almost everything you need backed up on your iPhone I'm talking contacts, text messages, notes, reminders all that stuff and that's on top of your usual photos and videos and the fact that it's cloud based means everything is automated for you everything works for you in the background as long as you've activated it and so to activate iCloud backup on your iPhone you need to go to settings then tap on your name at the top then tap on iCloud and then you'll see a list of all the apps that use your iCloud account you can see all the apps that are storing information or storing their data in your iCloud account. Now at the bottom there, tap on iCloud Backup and make sure that button is turned on so that it activates automatic backups. And then if you want to backup right now, manually, you can tap on the Backup Now button and then it will look for stuff to backup. So once you turn iCloud Backup on, everything is going to get backed up seamlessly and you know without any effort from you into your iCloud account. And then you can also choose the apps from that list you've seen there the specific apps that you want to be backing up data in your iCloud account. Now, the thing with iCloud is that it's only 5 gigs to back up all your data. Well, that was relevant 7, 10 years ago, but now with these high-end devices shooting videos in 4K and taking high-resolution photos and there's so much data going around, you'll fill up that 5 gigs within no time. And Apple knows that and it offers you more space, but this time at a fee. So to check how much space you can add to your iCloud account, all you need to do is go back to iCloud and then tap on Manage Storage. Uh, and then you should see a list of all the you know, data types that are kept in your iCloud account. And then right there you'll see the button saying Upgrade. You want to tap on that. And then you should see the extra parts or the you know, upgrades to your iCloud account. If you're the kind of person who's lost data that they needed before, then you know how important it is to back up your data and an extra dollar a month to you know keep your sensitive information safe and sound is not really much to ask for i personally think icloud is the best service to use for backing up your iphone data just because of how simple it is to use and the diversity and amount of information it's able to back up from your iphone the only issue i have really with icloud is that it's not multi-platform and you can't use your icloud backup on your android device and you know it's it doesn't work that way. It's, Apple have always been like that. They're always like that with everything they do. They're stubborn. But uh, for that person who has an iPhone, for that person who uses Mac, for that person in the Apple ecosystem, iCloud is perfect. That brings me to number two, iTunes. Now, iTunes is also another Apple product and it also works the Apple way. And for this one, you really need to be in that Apple ecosystem because you're backing up your iPhone's data to your iMac or your MacBook. So all you need to do is, you know, connect your iPhone to your MacBook or your iMac through the lightning cable and then fire up iTunes and then go to the backup section. To get there, just click on file and then select your device and then look for the backup now icon and click on it. Now that works and all your data is going to be stored on your MacBook or on your iMac's hard drive, which is obviously bigger. And that it, it works. But the thing is, it's a manual process and you kind of have to remember to do it every so often although you can have reminders to remind you to back up every now and then but it's still not as good as an intuitive and as automated as the iCloud backup so that's something to keep in mind number three is third-party apps and services now if iCloud and iTunes aren't cutting it for you you can use a host of other third-party services and tools and software also to back up your iPhone like Google Drive. Now Google Drive comes with 15 gigs of free storage so you can use that on your iPhone 
and it mostly backs up photos and videos and maybe contacts at best it won't back up your reminders and your notes and st stuff like that so it's kind of limited in what it's able to back up but for video and for photos and for contacts it's going to back up all that stuff for you that's google drive you can do that also with onedrive you can do that with amazon cloud you can there's so many other services that you can use to back up although they're not as intuitive and they're not as perfect and comprehensive as icloud then for tools if you can't use iTunes for some reason, if you have a Windows PC that is not compatible to iTunes or you just don't want to use iTunes, you can use a third-party software like 3U Tools which works just as good as iTunes does. I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can download 3U Tools. If you're a Windows computer user, just use 3U Tools, connect your iPhone to your PC through the cable again, it's going to be detected. It's going to do everything iTunes does on a Mac but for Windows, so you can use that to you know, just go to the backup options and backup your iPhone data on your Windows PC. So now with all those options, there's really no reason for you to not back up your iPhone data and secure it and uh, stay safe. Anyway, thanks for watching. You can leave a comments and questions down in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share it with someone. Someone might be struggling with backups on your timeline. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.